In this video, we're going to take a look at how to read and write decimals and also take a look at place values. A decimal is a number that shows tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on by using a decimal point. The decimal 3, decimal point 25 has three digits. We're going to read that number as 3 and 25 hundredths. So three digits are in that decimal number. So 3, 2, and a 5. The decimal written in standard form looks like this. 3 decimal point 2, 5. How do we write that in words? 3, my decimal point is considered and 25 hundredths. When we look at the place value, the 2 is in the tenths place and my 5 is in the hundredths place. So when we read, we say 3 and 25 hundredths. Place value. The place value table shows the value of each digit in a decimal. You would need to know this value for each of your numbers. Take a look at the example. It's written in standard form. 298, my decimal point, 04. We are going to take this number and we are going to place it in our table. Hundreds, tens, ones, my decimal point, tens, and hundreds. So my two. When I look at the number, I'm going to read my number going from left to right. So my first number before the decimal point to the left of my decimal point, it's 298. So let's go ahead and place that 298. So my two hundreds, my nine is in the tenths place, and my eight is in the ones place. Let's go ahead and put that decimal point in there, and the number to the right of my decimal point is my decimal. So I have zero tenths and I have four hundredths. So let's practice what we have just placed in our table above. So the standard form for that number is 298, my decimal point, zero four. How do I write this number in standard form? You would write this number in standard form the same way you read the number. So 200, so let's go ahead, and you're going to write that 200 down. 9, 90, okay, so that's a 90, okay, and then we have 8, so 298. So we're going to break that up, 200 plus 90 plus 8, and then we read our decimal. We write it as a fraction because it's in the it's tenths or hundredths place. It's no longer a whole number, it's a fraction of a whole. So I have zero in the tenths place plus four in the hundredths place. Hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and write the word form for it. And we'll, we'll read it from left to right. So the word form would read 298 and four hundredths. Hope that makes sense. Okay, it's practice time. We're going to take a look at the number written above, and we're going to write that number in standard form, expanded form, and word form. Well, the word form is already written there for you. So let's go ahead and write the standard form. Standard form. Standard form is a normal number, regular number. Seven, five, two, they're all regular numbers. So 752 and 48 hundredths. Let's go ahead and expand that out. So I said 700, so I should see 750. I should see 52, I should see two, and I should see my fraction form. So the expanded form, 700 plus 50 plus two, my four is in the tenths place, and my eight is in the hundredths place. And in word form, we simply read it as 700 
52 and 48 hundredths. Let's go ahead and fill in the table below. So my 7 will go in the hundredths place and my 5 will go in the tens place. 2 will go in the ones place. Insert my decimal point. My 4 will go in the tenths place, th, and my 8 will go in the hundredths place. Hope that makes sense. Remember, you can always pause, rewind, rewatch as many times as you like.